Environmentalists in Nigeria have called for the discontinuance of the China-funded plant East African Crude Oil Pipeline project due to its environmental impact on human lives and the economy. The environmentalists who converge on the Chinese embassy at the nation's capital Abuja insist that China must stop the funding of the project to save human lives and livelihood of affected countries. China has taken important action on climate change by committing not to build new coal power plants overseas and has demonstrated its willingness to step up its global leadership on biodiversity conversation. China has also pledged to support Africa and developing countries to combat climate change. If China supports the ECOP and the oil field project, it will seriously undermine the valuable effort and commitment China has made so far. In fact, the recent report about China's potential support for the project is already harming China's reputation globally, particularly in Africa. Funding a project that is estimated to lead to greenhouse gas emission of 379 million tons CO2 and bring serious stress to local livelihood is not the kind of climate or government partnership Africa people are asking for. A range of studies by various independent experts, international organizations, as well as local civil society organizations that support the project affected people have shown that the Eco project and the associated Tilinga and Kingfisher oil field project will bring high risks to climate, biodiversity, and Ransa wetland. Smith Mwokocha, however, insisted that the group will do whatever it takes to obtain permission from the Niger police to enable them to serve the Chinese embassy the protest letter. Chief Secretary Officer of the Chinese Embassy in Nigeria said they are not receiving the letter. So we are going to reconvey and then have some approval from the CP and then have them, them before they say they were carrying the letter. We are going to reconvey and have that done. If they accept it, fine. But we'll keep uh, making impact, keep talking about this. We are not going to silence our voice because it affects other African countries and it's also coming to Nigeria. If we don't take a step now, it will come to us. We know what is happening even just in our backyard in Nigeria Delta. Okay, how many years ago? Look at what is happening there. We, ha we are facing black suit. And some are even coming from that state, Port Harcourt. We are facing black suit. Look at you go to see this guy, and people are suffering from cancer, asthma, and because of extraction of oil.